how Tinibu forged his way to the presidency. Article reveals appealing details. Former Vice President and Presidential Candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, in the 2023 election, Alaji Atiku Abubakar has launched a fresh attack on President Bola Tinibu, accusing him of forgery and deception. Atiku, who is challenging Tinibu's victory at the election tribunal, said that the, presi that the, said that the president academic Kidensha from the Chicago State University were fake and that he had lied about his identity and citizenship. Vanguard reported that Articus media advisor Mazi Paul Ibe said in a statement on Sunday that Tinibu had submitted a forged diploma to the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, and swore an affidavit under oath to back up his uh, back up his forgery. He also said that Tinibu's qualification or qualif qualifying certificate from Southwest College to Chicago State University bore a female name and that he graduated from Government College, Lagos, in 1970, when the school was established in 1974. Ibe further said that Tinibu had denied having dual citizenship in the document he submitted to INEC, but this Chicago State University document shows a black American owner. He also said that Tinibu had smuggled Adekule in his name in his NYC certificate, while the Chicago State University document said his middle name was Hamed. Ibe said that Tinibu's house of forgeries was an on pending drama, and that his supporters and spine doctors were trying to twist the fat and confuse the public. He said that Atiko was determined to expose Tinibu's lies and prove that he was not qualified to be Nigeria's president. The whole Progressive Congress APC has dismissed Atiko's allegation as baseless and motivated by hatred. The party's spokesman, Laren Isa Onilu, said that Atiko was desperate and frustrated after losing the election. He said that Tinibu had valid certificate from Chicago State University and that Atiko was wasting his time and resources on a futile legal battle. This issue of Tinibu certificate forgery is a very serious battle between Atiko and Tinibu. Only the Supreme Court is needed and must do the needful. Fairly, they must be fair in this matter. Or else, the whole world will ridicule Nigeria. The whole world will see Nigeria as a shame, as a country. This is because the international community is watching. The whole world is watching. They are watching on how the case will go. Atiko is bent to remove Tinibu from the seat as president. 
with all the fat he has. More fats are coming up almost every time, almost every day. The document of the Chicago State University, the certificate is showing that uh, Tinibu is a female. Why is secondary school certificate is showing that it's a male? All of a sudden, Adekule have come up. Hamed is disappearing from Tinibu certificate. So you can see that so many facts are coming up that is showing that this document, this certificate, this result are not authentic. But this can only be proved by the court of law. It can only be proved at the Supreme Court. Now that Atiko has failed the first round and is taking an appeal to the Supreme Court, the Supreme Court have the final say. And this is the final bus stop. But we also believe that if the Supreme Court is biased and they turn the case in other, uh, uh, on the other hand, that they are not fair, I believe Atiko will also take this case to the international world so that he will get a fair judgment. Tinibu will be disqualified <coughs> if it is proven that the certificate were forged and this will automatically lead to its removal from office. A new election will be conducted. So guys, I really like to hear from you to know your, your take on this.